Hey everyone, welcome back to Love Munchies. Today I'm gonna to be making a classic French onion soup. You're gonna love this recipe, so make sure you check it out. You're gonna to wanna to share it with your friends. And I'm gonna have a link to some of the cool gadgets that I'm using in the description box on my YouTube channel, so make sure you check that out as well. So let's do this, here we go. Okay, we have nine medium to large onions here, three different types, yellow onion, red onion, and sweet onions. Just cut the ends off, then slice them in half and peel the skins away. And then we're gonna proceed to julienne them, which is cutting them into thin strips. If they're really large, you can cut them in half widthwise before you cut them into julienne strips. You can see how I tuck my fingers here so that you don't cut the tips of your fingers off. Make sure you tuck your fingers under, that way you won't have an accident. Now we're going to take the onions and put them in a large stock pot, put some olive oil in the bottom, probably less than a quarter of a cup. You're going to put the onions into a hot pan, you're going to hear the sizzle, then you know that it is hot enough. You can test it by dropping just one in there. And then you're going to stir them after about a minute, and then you're just going to leave them sit because we want them to caramelize. So this is going to take a little bit of a process. You leave them sit once you toss them in all the oil and only stir them after maybe about 10 minutes. Don't have your fire on the heat, on totally high heat, because you don't want to burn the bottom of the pan. I've also added about a tablespoon of fresh garlic. Okay, now just let them sit. Resist the urge to stir them for at least 10 minutes. While the onions are caramelizing, we're gonna make our homemade fresh croutons to go in the soup. So I just have a fresh baguettes here. We're gonna use one of them, slice it in half, use a bread knife, make sure to slice it into thin, even slices. These are about a quarter to a half inch thick. Once they're all sliced, we're gonna spread them on a sheet tray lined with parchment paper. We're gonna drizzle them with some oil and other seasonings and bake them for about 10 minutes. So drizzle them with olive oil. Make sure you get a nice even coating all over all of them. You can pick them up and dab it on some of the ones that have a heavier coating to get it on there. You're going to sprinkle them with some sea salt, some pepper, a little bit of granulated garlic, and then I have a Parmesan Romano mixture shredded that we're going to sprinkle on them as well. Bake them in the oven about 375 for about 10 minutes until they're lightly golden brown and make sure they're not too soft. You want them to be, have a little crunch to them. you're gonna pop those right in the oven while they're cooking go back to your onions you're gonna stir them up on the bottom you're gonna have some golden brown caramelization going on make sure you stir it up and get all those brown bits off the bottom and into your onions continue stirring until you get all of it off of the bottom and you'll notice your onions are starting to look great and caramelized and golden brown Continue to do this for a couple of minutes. Look at that, beautiful. 
Now just let them sit for, oh, maybe two more minutes and continue the caramelization process. Now I like to add like a quarter cup of flour just because I like the soup to have a little bit of thickness to it and it's going to help keep the onions not on the bottom of the pot and they'll be a nice even when you're scooping your soup into your bowl. So put the flour in, stir it up, and you're going to let it cook for about two to three minutes to cook out that flour flavor. Now I'm adding three quarters cup of red wine to deglaze the pan and incorporate it into our mixture. Now you're going to add a total of three quarts of hot liquid, which is hot water and beef base that I use to make beef stock. So you take hot water and I used a total of three tablespoons of beef base in the water. You're going to mix that all together and combine it and we're going to bring it to a boil and once it's to a boil we're going to bring it down to a simmer and let it simmer for about 10 more minutes. While bringing it to a boil, we're going to put a total of a teaspoon of ground pepper and about a teaspoon of granulated garlic and two bay leaves in the mixture. While that's simmering, we're going to shred our own cheese, which we're using Greer cheese. You could use Swiss, you could use mozzarella. A um, favorite is Greer cheese though, so if you can get that, you should do that. Just be careful of your fingertips. You can see I'm using this cool little gadget. It's a microplane cube cheese grater. I'll leave a link to it in my video description on the YouTube channel. So if you want one, go on there and grab one. They're really handy. So now we're going to finish our soup seasoning. We're going to add about a tablespoon of parsley. We're going to add about a teaspoon of thyme and a teaspoon of Italian seasoning or oregano, whatever you have on hand. Fresh is always better, but it's winter and the dry seasonings will work just fine. And just bring it back to a boil real quick and your soup is ready to go. Croutons are out of the oven. Look at how beautiful they are. They're golden brown, they're crunchy, they're delicious to eat on their own. You gotta watch out because people will eat them before they ever go in the soup. So now we're gonna scoop our soup into the bowls and show you how to make a classic dish of French onion soup like you would get in the restaurant. Scoop it into a nice little crock like this is really cool to have on hand. If you don't, just scoop it into a bowl Look at all those delicious onions, how gorgeous it is. It's not too thin, it's not too thick, it's just right. So then we're gonna top it with a couple of our homemade croutons. Now if you wanted to make this keto friendly, you could use pork rinds instead of the croutons, which would work just fine and it's just as delicious. Well, maybe not, those croutons are really good, let's face it but it is really delicious using the pork rinds as a substitution if you're keto go ahead and try it now i'm using a blowtorch to melt the cheese and turn it golden brown i'll leave a link to one in my video so you can go on amazon and grab one it's just fun to have if you don't have a blowtorch you can absolutely put it in the oven on 375 for about 10 minutes till they're crunchy and golden. Just be careful when you take it out of the oven. Make sure you put the bowl on a separate dish and warn your guests so they don't burn their hands on it. The blowtorch is a fun little gadget, so if you got one, that's something you can do with it. 
So now our soup is awesome. It's beautiful and delicious and we're ready to give it a try. I really love this recipe. I hope you try it out. You can put these cute little covers on top to serve it too. The link in the video description for these bowls as well. It's just a fun way to serve them. Look at that, yummy. And who won't enjoy a homemade bowl of French onion soup on a cold winter's day? Okay, now's my favorite part of the video. Let's give it a try. Mm, the cheese is just oozing. You can put as much or less of cheese as you like. Um, this is keto friendly. You can make it keto friendly. You're gonna love this recipe. Make sure you give it a try. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel. I can't wait to bring you more recipes. I hope you have a great day. This is a great winter recipe, so give it a shot. Bye.